What's good everyone, you dig, 4 eyes, 2 G's here, and today we're here to talk about Blueface, and it's been interesting to witness his fast rise, especially over the last couple months, because when he initially started to make waves, he was almost a meme, and there was definitely that vocal audience that didn't take him seriously at all, and don't get me wrong, he is far from a mainstream superstar right now, however, his ascent over the last few months is undeniable, and today I wanted to look at how he was able to go from a meme to someone who was a mainstream start in the making. And I think it comes down to two factors, the first of which is cosigns, and this is possibly the fastest way nowadays a fresh artist can get newer people onto them, and you can't really find many examples of recent artists that weren't hugely helped by cosigns. And especially in the moment where his buzz really started to come together a few months ago, it seemed that everybody started to cosign him. Of course we all know about the Drake cosign, but there was also cosigns from the likes of Quavo, Chief Keef, Young Thug, and Lil Uzi, all of which helped to get a certain audience onto him. Then you had other ones that gave him a whole different audience like the Kendrick and Ice Cube cosigns. Then we saw him get the Cole Bennett and Adam 22 cosigns, which nowadays are like the final grail to helping a new artist spread their wave to that younger YouTube audience. And then we've also seen him work with Cardi B, YG and g Easy. If you've watched my other videos on Blueface, you would have heard me discussing how I think the social media circus that surrounded his come up with all the memes, the reaction videos and all the hating comments led to people buying into the meme and writing him off as a trash artist before they gave his music a fair chance. And I think this perception people had of him being trash, being a meme, etc. started to change as a result of these cosigns because people began to actually give his music a real shot and not just write him off. And I'd say this can be compared to a case like Bad Barbies. At the start, she was this huge meme to everybody and don't get me wrong, she still kind of is, but the way she has been able to slowly transition herself to be taken as more and more of a serious artist is impressive no matter what you may think of her personally and I think that has a lot to do with the cosign she's gotten and I think it's a similar case for Blueface and before we go on guys just a reminder if you haven't please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video and make sure to follow your boy in all social medias for more also I have just dropped my whole lot of red Playboy Cardi inspired merch the design was done by Wake Up Zuzi and it's absolutely fire. It's about to sell out so make sure to cop one if you're interested. The link to that one is in the description but getting back to it. And the second part of Blueface's rise is a huge one and it's got to do with his management. I think the management of his career direction in terms of releases, promotion and exposure has helped Blueface manage and transition his virality into stardom. Basically as soon as he got signed they had him up on all the radio stations which was a smart move as it helped to start to brand him, add a face to the music and add a story to his movement right off the bat. And even more so we've seen him do a ton of press that isn't just radio that has helped people get familiar with him even more. In addition to this, they've been meticulous with his releases, with basically no new material since he really started popping. And I think this has been an extremely smart decision. I think a possible mistake would have been to flood the market and listeners with too much new music. The facts are, Thotiana just peaked on overall radio plays literally just last week and is still climbing on the urban radio charts, so there is no rush to put out new music as of right now. Sure, Thotiana may be old to me and you, but we know the pop and radio audience is late to everything, and as of right now, they're just getting acquainted to Blueface, so they're managing his releases right. Don't flood the market with all this extra music yet, work Thotiana, work Bleed It, work the G-Eazy song, then when it all starts to simmer down, you come with that new new to keep his wave going. But don't release a thousand hits now to the point where people start to get over him within six months. So I think the career direction by his label has helped Blueface correctly handle his releases and promotion to fully take advantage of this opportunity with smart branding and not becoming too oversaturated in the market early on. And that's all from me today guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video and make sure to follow your boy in all social medias for more. Also on the screen right now are some of my other videos, make sure to check them out if you haven't.